This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. I'm glad you could join me so that I can talk to you about how to subtract complex numbers. Um, I'm going to show you a couple examples today which will clear things up in your head. So here are the two examples. Well, example one, we're going to take 3 minus 5i and we're going to take that. We're going to subtract 2 plus 8i. All right, so we're going to subtract these two uh, polynomials. Uh, let it be known that these two polynomials are, are already in A plus BI form. What that means is uh, you should already know it, well, in case you don't know, that A represents the real part. Okay, so these are real part of our complex numbers. And then the BI is the term that indicates or uh, is part of the imaginary part. Okay, so the A, think the real part. BI, think the imaginary part. The two parts together make a complex number. All right, so since our problem is already written in that form, it makes it kind of easy to work with. Uh, just like we dealt with with polynomials, uh, we're going to change this subtraction problem because this is a subtraction problem. We're going to change it to addition. Now the way we do that is we're going to think of this symbol as an opposite sign. All right. Now if you take that to uh, you know be a opposite sign, it just means we're going to take the opposite of the second polynomial. So we're going to take the opposite of two, and then we're also going to take the opposite of eight y. All right. Now when you do that. You'll see that when I take the opposite of 2, you get negative 2. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. Once you've done that, this is no longer a subtraction sign. It is now an addition sign. And, you know, we've done this before with integers, so you should be um, familiar with this procedure. All right, now what we're going to do, just like we dealt with polynomials, is we're going to take, and this, these technically are polynomials, we are going to take uh, the second complex number and put it underneath the first and we're going to line up like terms. So I'm going to put the minus 2 underneath the 3. We're going to put the minus 8 underneath the 8i. So you can see the like terms are all lining up. Now once we've done this, we've lined them up accordingly. Remember now we're actually de dealing with an addition problem. Alright, so when we add these two together, um, we are going to get our final answer, which let's see, 3 and negative 2 makes a positive 1. A negative 5 and negative 8 makes a negative 13. And there you go. And I, my answer here is also an A plus BI form. Our A part is 1 and our B is negative 13. Okay, so we're done with that problem. So let's take a look at our second problem. You know, and they're, they're really not far apart from each other. These, um, you know, uh, complex numbers with polynomials. So it's really the same thing and there's really not much difficulty, you know, I can show. I'm just going to show two problems. Maybe uh, this one might demonstrate how to deal with a problem that has a lot of negatives. Um, that's about it. But let's see, we have a negative 3 minus 2i is our second polynomial. And again, we're separating them with parentheses as you'll see in textbooks. All right, again, we're going to take the opposite of everything that comes uh, second with this polynomial. So we're going to take the opposite of negative 3. Well, that would make that a positive 3. We're going to take the opposite of negative 2, so that would make that a positive 2. Once we've done that, it's no longer a subtraction problem. It's an addition problem. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to, just like we did with the first problem, we're going to take our second polynomial and we're going to write it underneath the first. So uh, being cautious, of course, to line up like terms. All right. So I put the A part under the A part, the B part under the B part. And now we're going to add the two polynomials together. All right. Again, combining like terms, being careful how to deal with our positives and negatives. Negative 4 and 3 makes a negative 1. And we have a 7 and a 2. Well, that makes a 9 makes a 9i. And there you have it. There's our final answer. All right, so that's uh, how we are supposed to subtract complex numbers. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. You'll check out 
you know, hundreds of lessons. We've got uh, many interactive quizzes and activities. All right, take care.